Good evening, my fellow fans and Flor at Florida Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing um, some homemade pizza. And uh, we're using just ordinary uh, ingredients that you have in your refrigerator. All right, so we're using this tray and we just covered it with olive oil, right? And um, we're going to use this that we bought at the grocery store. It's uh, the dough, right? I guess the dough. Um, and we're opening that up. But for the meantime, while we're opening that up, we're also frying the uh, toppings. So we're frying meatballs. You could use any type toppings of your choice. We decided to use meatballs. So we're frying that up and we're boiling some sausage. It, it's a hot dog sausage. As I said before, you could use the ingredients of your choice. If you want to use pepperoni, you could go ahead and buy some pepperoni. Um, so, but these are the, uh, the protein that we're using for our homemade pizza. We do have some uh, sausage cut up that's already done, some tomatoes, some onions, and this is the one that we use. We use the pizza crust. So you're just uh, laying it down there right on the tray. So it was easy. I mean, just take it out from this um, classic crust, pizza crust, and, uh, and just lay it on your tray. Just make sure that you have olive oil on your tray and just separating that and folding that in a square shape in the shape of the tray. So the olive oil is going to make your life a lot easier. All right. So you could use any type um, of crust that you want to use. Um, we use this one. We bought it from Walmart. Okay. All right. Now we had uh, the oven preheat. Uh, let me see. I think we had it at 300 degrees, and now we you, we put the um, the dough on the tray, and we're gonna leave it for how many minutes? Do you think we'll leave it there for about five minutes? Five minutes? Okay, so we're gonna leave that for five minutes. All right then. So it says that it's done. Oh, so much vapor now. So it's five minutes have passed, right? So you just let um, excuse the vapor. Just let the five minutes to pass. And now, wow, that's a little fluffy now, right? Perfect. So now we're going to add tomato paste on it, right? Oops. Um. Now we already washed all of the vegetables. Just before somebody comments, oh, but you didn't wash the vegetables. We did wash the vegetables. Trust me, Mom, I've had some comments like that. <laughs> so now we're going to use tomato, traditional tomato paste, and we're going to... Uh, Add that over on top of the uh, pizza dough. Now we use a traditional spaghetti sauce. You could use any tomato paste. Now, I normally like my pizza with uh, pineapple. Um, but as I said before, you could use any ingredients you want. And this is very easy. Just do, you know, homemade pizza at home. And you could use healthy ingredients too if you like pizza so much. All right? Okay, so remember to have the oven on 400 degrees, okay? And now we're going to be adding some mozzarella cheese. You could add any type of cheese that you want. And uh, we're going to use mozzarella cheese. So remember to have your oven oven at 400 degrees. Now, we we um, put the actual pizza dough in the oven for eight minutes rather than five. So eight minutes, and then we took it out. And this is the right way of doing it, okay? Instead of just actually putting everything together together all at once, we just try to make sure that the the pizza dough is cooked correctly. Now, a lot of people like to add a lot of cheese, right? So we already cooked the, uh, the meatballs and the, and the sausage. Okay, now we're adding the uh, purple onions. And this is a good thing because normally when you order pizza, 
there's only a certain amount of uh, toppings that you could include but when you're making a homemade pizza you could choose the types of toppings you want and how much you want of it or how healthy you want it so now we're adding those onions so as I said before you could add all those toppings that you want now we're adding some tomatoes on top of that perfect all right now time for it to add those sausages we cooked the sausages before actually putting them on the uh, pizza so we fried those sausages and now are we gonna add the meatballs right now okay so now we're gonna add those meatballs right there oh, okay beautiful now he's cutting those in pieces so we're not gonna add those meatballs like just entirely in their form so we're cutting them into pieces and adding them on the pizza I wish we had a um, pineapple to add some pineapple all right then after adding the toppings we add a little bit of garlic powder on top of our pizza to give it more flavor nice and look at that all those flavors and all those toppings and it's so easy to do now what's this this is a little bit of oregano don't add too much oregano because oregano has a strong flavor so be careful with adding oregano now we're putting the pizza so we never um, turned off the uh, oven and we're gonna leave that at 400 degrees for let's see for how many minutes and we're gonna add that for 10 minutes okay and then your pizza is done so add as much cheese little cheese whatever you want on your pizza but as you could tell it's very simple simple to do all right my beautiful friends our pizza is done and it only took um uh i think it was 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes first it was five minutes just to dough just to heat the dough then put the ingredients and then put it back in the oven for nine more minutes and you don't want to leave it in the oven for so long because you see it's a golden brown right here because if you leave it for so long it's going to be too toasty you don't want it too toasty um we would have added more cheese if we had more cheese but add more cheese because it's going to be more flavorful even much better tasting with um, adding more cheese so it's very easy just buy the dough in the your supermarket place or your grocery store and just put it flat on a tray so it's very very simple and I've tried this homemade pizza before and it's um it's amazing so it will taste depending on what types of toppings you'll add so if you definitely add the toppings that are your favorite then you're gonna have a very amazing experience with this pizza all right guys so i guess that's it and uh please comment subscribe and share my video here at florida kitchen i'm also on instagram at florida kitchen one and please write a comment i love to read your comments all right guys bye see you later and take care